Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today I'm going to do a video on the Lenovo Idea Center 700. This computer was originally intended by Lenovo to be upgradable, um, but if you look at tons of forums on this thing, it's not that upgradable because it has a 250 watt power supply and you can't replace it with an alternative power supply at least easily because they use a 10 pin versus a 24 pin connector on the motherboard and it's proprietary on top of that where the wiring and all that's different so you can't just splice them together very easily. Um, there's tons of forums on it. You guys should look it up if you're curious. Um, but everyone in the forums that I were reading was talking about the ninth generation of GPUs and how they couldn't use a 250 watt power supply to run those GPUs that they wanted so they could play decent games in this machine. But now with the 10th generation being so energy efficient, I wanted to prove that you can use a 1050 Ti and run it in this system on the original power supply and everything will still run good because the 1050 Ti is so energy efficient. So let's prove that to them. Oh man, don't you love seeing the inside of a pre-built system? <laughs> um, so just to go through the specs of it originally, you have the 250 watt power supply up here. You have an i5-6400 under this unique kind of stock CPU cooler. Um, this is the GTX 7, uh, 10, or 750 Ti, I believe. Um, you can double check that in the description if I was wrong. And this is an eight gigabyte stick of DDR4. Um, my friend's really looking to play just one simple game, so I'm gonna leave everything else in here the same. Um, obviously this is still the CD drive. This is also 7200 um, RPM hard drive. The only thing I'm gonna change is this, and I'm gonna prove that the 1050 Ti here can run off of this. So we're gonna run some stress tests and all that to make sure it can, but I'm already done the calculations. I'm almost 100% positive that it's gonna work. So let's get started. Okie dokie, let's go. And they really wrap this thing up in there. Okay, let me get the other one out. Look at that powerhouse right there. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna replace it with the 1050 Ti. This is the EVGA model with the ACX 3.0 cooler on it that you see in the kind of trickled through all the GTX models of this generation. And honestly, I really like this cooler. It looks really nice. Okay, and if you do what I just did, um, they have these Wi-Fi antennas running right through here. Just make sure you plug them back in. Otherwise, your Wi-Fi signal is going to be pretty piss poor. So let me just lay this down flat real quick and plug them back in. So as you can see, I got this all running now. Um, it's got the 1050 Ti in it, everything's running. I'm gonna run IDA64 on this computer, obviously. It's running on my test bench's monitor. Um, and make sure it can handle, the 250 watt power supply can handle the 1050 Ti. But again, like I said before, I'm pretty positive it's gonna work. So let me download that and everything. So this is IDA64 pulled up on this computer over here. Um, I do own it, but I'm just gonna use the trial version because I don't feel like finding my product key and all that kind of stuff. Um, plus, like I said, this is gonna be a one-time test. Um, so I'm gonna run a 10-minute benchmark on this to stress the system. I'm gonna stress the GPU and the CPU just to make sure that everything in this is gonna be fine under a 250-watt power supply. 
So let's run it. So a quick pro tip, don't be like me. Um, I forgot to download the drivers for the 1050 Ti before I started the stress test. So I'm gonna run it one more time after I download the drivers now. So I got everything installed now, drivers wise on this and everything. So I'm gonna run Ida 64 now um, and it'll be a 10 minute run just to make sure that the 250 watts is good. So I just finished running Ida 64 and everything is good. The 250 watt power supply does cover everything for the 1050 Ti just like I had calculated. And so that would definitely be my recommendation for everyone in those forums that was having issues upgrading this computer. I would suggest upgrading to the 1050 or the 1050 Ti because both of those still meet the power requirements for a 250 watt power supply and will run just fine under the stock power supply. That way you don't have to do the weird jury rigging way of wiring in a bot, um, you know, a store bot PSU. Um, you know, obviously in the ninth generation of GPUs that was necessary, that's not necessary anymore. And the 10th generation just proved it. So this is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya.